Hello guys, my name is Deep Shuring Lepcha. On behalf of the entire IM Editor team, welcome to the short video tutorials. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up and configure Telnet and SSH on a Cisco Switch 2960 series. And we're going to do this whole setup in Cisco Packet Tracer. Let's begin. We're going to use Packet Tracer. This is the one. Click on the icon and it opens up Cisco Packet Tracer 7.2 version. There you can see the guest login. Just click on add on the right bottom or you can use the username and password. Just click close this one. Uh, it takes 15 seconds. So you can use username and password of netacad.com. So click on confirm guest. It opens up Packet Tracer screen. Click on folder icon. We're going to use 1841 series of a router. Just click on add and drag and drop over here. Click on this icon. There you can see switch. Click on switch icon and we're going to use switch 2960. That means 20, 2960 series. Use Using PCs, click on the PC icon, click on it. If you want multiple PCs or multiple devices, just hold on control. We're going to connect with this cable standard straight to connect different devices. Click on the PC and then click on the switch to connect from switch to the router. Okay. Bear with me. Yeah from router to the switch and then from switch to the PC done so I have labeled up IP addresses to the devices now we're going to assign IP address on the devices just click on the router first so click on okay expand it a little bit click on CLI mode would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog type no to skip this message this message is shown at the first time when you boot up the router there you can see we are in user exit mode now enable to get into the privilege mode this is how privilege mode looks like and then type in configure terminal to go to the to go to the global configuration mode. This is how the global configuration mode looks like. We're going to change the host name, host name R1. So we've changed the name of the router to show IP interface brief. No IP address has been assigned to this interface faster than 0 slash 0. It's unassigned and administratively down. We're going to assign IP address to that interface. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. IP address would be 192.168.1.1 and then slash 24. Type in no shutdown to turn on the interface. To show IP interface brief. There you can see that IP address has been assigned and status is administratively up. There you can see STP is running on the switch side spanning tree protocol it will take around 30 seconds to turn on the port so this is interface passive 0 slash 1 we're going to assign IP address to that interface again interface passive 0 slash 1 IP address would be 192.168.2.1.255.255.255.0 no shutdown to turn on the interface to show IP interface brief let's ver verify the IP address okay it has been assigned to the interface faster than 0 slash 0 and it's administratively up it's working again 30 seconds to turn on to the switch side now and we are in privilege mode show IP interface brief this is how we verify the IP address 
it's turned on manually up go to the PC it's PC 1 just click on it expand a little bit click on desktop click on IP configuration assign IP address to this PC 192.168.1.2 and then this is the default gateway the router IP address this is PC1 this is the PC close go to command prompt verify the IP IP config this is the IP address of the PC 1.2 and this is the IP address for the default gateway okay we have assigned 1.3 not 1.2 all right so we are in PC2 now, we are going to assign IP address, click on desktop, IP configuration, this is the IP address, we are going to assign 2.3, 192.168.2.1, this is the default gateway, the IP address assigned to the interface of the router, close this, go to command line, verify the IP address of the PC, that's 2.3. This is the IP address we have assigned and this is the default gateway interface of the router. Ping 192.168.2.1 Pinging from PC2 to router interface pass it 0 slash 1 and it's successfully pinging. Now pinging from PC2 to another interface of the router from PC2 to another interface it's pinging successfully again ping 192.168.1.3 that means IP address of from PC2 to PC1 pinging from PC2 to PC1 and wait for a while request timed out and it's first for the ARP address resolution protocol from PC2 to PC1 and it's pinging successfully so go to switch one just click on it expand this window size click on CLI configuration okay command line interface this is the privilege uh, user exit mode of the switch so enable you are in privilege mode now and then go to global configuration mode configure terminal that brings you to the global configuration mode and now we're going to configure the switch first of all to show IP interface brief PRIEF okay from faster than 0 slash 1 to VLAN 1 this is our VLAN that means we are going to assign IP address to the VLAN while we assign IP address to the VLAN that is known as SVI switch virtual interface interface VLAN 1 assign IP address to this VLAN IP address 192.168.1.2 slash 24 subnet mask this is the IP address for VLAN 1 it's unassigned right and administratively down to show IP interface brief hit space there you can see the VLAN has been assigned with the IP address but it's administratively down you use the command no shutdown to turn on the interface let's verify it let's see then it's administratively down to show IP interface brief there you can see that IP address has been assigned and it's administratively up this is the uh, switch pinging from switch to the router from switch to the router interface and let's see okay it's pinging successfully do ping 192.168.1.3 that means pinging from switch to the PC1 and it's successfully pinging again we're going to set up SSH and Telnet in this switch XZ host name would be SW1 switch 1 IP domain name 
would be cisco.com crypto key generate rsa and we are going to use uh, this is 512 by default the lowest value uh, you can assign from 360 to 2048 so we are going to assign 1024 it's enough for the practice mode 1024 bits of encryption username would be user 1 and then password or we can assign for privilege that means administrative level privilege 15 full control password user 1 line vty 0 space 4 and then login local that means we are going to use local database username transport input question mark there you can see SSH and telnet or all that means we are going to use SSH as well as telnet do show IP history do show history that gives you uh, the SSH and telnet configuration this is the history command we have done all these commands just to turn on SSH and telnet to this switch this is the username and transport input all that means we are going to use telnet and SSH for PC1 let's try from PC1 then ping 192.168.1.1 okay from PC to the router it's successfully pinging okay ping 192.168.1.2 that means this is the IP address of switch so from PC to the switch it's successfully pinging again and now let's use telnet command telnet 192.168.1.2 use the username user1 and then type in the password user1 again this is how you are logged into the switch that means remotely logged in show IP interface brief there you can see the IP address that has been assigned to that VLAN and we are remotely connected to that switch from the PC so this is how we do telnet login via PC to the switch now let's go to PC2 and then ping 192.168.1.1 pinging from PC2 to router interface another network and it's pinging successfully now ping 192.168.1.3 pinging from PC2 to PC1 successfully pinging ping 192.168.1.2 there you can see that 1.2 from PC2 to switch 1 it's not reachable it's request timed out that means your ping is reachable over there but the thing is that reverse route is not there ping is not coming back to our PC so minus n and infinite ping from PC2 to switch 1 from PC2 to switch 1 infinite ping there you can see I'm going to drag it a little bit down open up switch console now exit IP default gateway 192.168.1.1 this is the actual default gateway uh, for this switch so after assigning default gateway ping is getting successful that means if you want to access from different network you have to assign default gateway on the switch right that is how you can connect remotely from another network from PC2 to switch 1 
telnet 192.168.1.2 from pc2 to switch one let's see now voila it's done username user one password user one show ip interface brief this is how you can log in remotely from different network but the thing is that you have to actually assign default gateway on switch click on this one there you can see ssh we're going to log in from uh, pc2 to switch one ssh configuration or ssh login 192.168.1.2 username user one and type in the username user one and you have logged in successfully in the switch from different network as well so this is how you actually configure ssh and telnet within a switch and you can log in via um, remotely from the same network as well as diff from different network thanks for watching guys